फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल गो इन एडवांस्ड अबाउट व्यूज मॉड्यूल वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट व्यूज फिल्टर व्यूज कॉन्टेक्चुअल फिल्टर एंड रिलेशनशिप व्हिच इज अ मोस्ट ऑब्वियस फीचर एंड व्हिच इज नेसेसरी दैट अ पर्सन शुड अंडरस्टैंड हाउ द रिलेशनशिप इज वर्किंग एंड हाउ द कॉन्टेक्चुअल फिल्टर एंड अ फिल्टर इज वर्किंग okay we will explain in detail with example and we will make a demo for it so that you can easily understand its working okay uh, for this uh, i have firstly created a taxonomy already and uh, taxonomy is here uh, course taxonomy and uh, it has uh, terms uh, some terms are there bscs and mscs so these two terms are here in the courses and now i will uh, create a content type i go to set structure and then content types and in the content types i will add a content type uh, i am going to add a content type the name is subject okay subject uh, okay subject is my content type name and i i going to save it okay after saving the subject i need to add a field a reference field uh, in this content type uh, for this i will go to add field i will go to add field and in the add field here uh i will go and uh, then i will go here and uh, i will write uh, a taxonomy term actually it is a taxonomy term and i write the field name uh, course or we can say course of the subject course of the subject so what is the course of the subject okay i am going to save it and then i selected that one can be selected at one time we can do it multiple also but later on but for now we will do it one at a time that one a course should be selected and then i go down and here i select this uh, uh, select list okay vocabulary the which vocabulary this field will will be from course vocabulary and then i go here and say the settings after saving the settings then i need to create the content i will add the subjects okay uh, right now there is no content i am going to add content and i i will add content of subject content type okay here i will write the subject title for example subject title is uh, mathematics and i now i will select the subject okay subject is uh, bscs okay okay it should be coming here it is uh, automatically selected i will select bscs uh, and then i save it mathematics in bscs and i am going to save it and after this uh, i add another subject okay mm, i again go to content page and in the content page i will go to add content and on the add content page uh, i will go to again add the subject and now i will uh, write the mathematics again for example and uh, here i can uh, select the subject again or we can do that uh, in uh, one uh, content uh, i explain you uh, some more feature some advanced feature here again okay i go to structure and then uh, here are the content types and in the content types uh, i again go to manage fields and here course of the subject which i recently created i edit it and i change the field setting to multiple okay now it will be unlimited okay 
and then save setting after saving the setting it will be multiple that multiple courses can be selected while adding the subject like previously we have added the subject mathematics i just need to edit it and here i can now select the multiple for example now i can also select the mscs okay i write ms and the remaining is coming mscs and then I am going to save it the mathematics okay now I will add another content uh, and I will write the subject again I am going to write subject again now this time um, I write the basic introduction to computing for example introduction to computing introduction to computing and here I select the BS BS okay I have selected BS I can add more but introduction to computer is only in BSCS it is not in MSCS therefore I have only selected this one okay and then again I will add one more subject so that you can easily understand what I am going to do okay add content and uh, subject now i will add the subject which is mostly in ms computer science uh, we can say uh, advanced software engineering okay advanced software engineering okay advanced software engineering and here i select mscs and after selecting MSCS, I need to save it. You can see that uh, mathematics, I have selected BSCS and introduction to computer, uh, I have selected BA. In mathematics, I have selected both. Let me tell you and show you again. In uh, mathematics, when I added mathematics, then I selected uh, BSCS and MSCS both. But introduction to computing, I only selected the uh, a BSCS and in advanced com advanced software engineering I have selected MSCS only okay now uh, I will show you the magic of the views uh, filters and contextual filters and uh, and uh, relationship how this is working okay I go to structure and here I go to views okay I'm on the views page and uh, here I go to add view on add view page I need to create a view view uh, can be the uh, related subject okay because the related subject uh, will be shown on the right sidebar okay related subject related subjects okay related subjects and uh, here uh, then I need to select the content type which is uh, basically subject content type and uh, then I go and I need to add a block and in the block uh, there is a title linked and uh, then I just need to save and edit after saving it I need to add this block at uh, some region okay uh, I need to add this block at some region I just want to show how it will work without the filter and how it will work after adding the filter okay for this I go to structure and then I go to block layout and uh, here on the sidebar I will add this view okay on the sidebar this is the sidebar I have created this one I just need to remove it so that uh, the for the confusion I just remove this one I am going to add which we will add now I go to sidebar and here I will place block and in the place block I will write the related what was the name of I think related yeah related subjects okay and then I will place the block and uh, place block uh, and then save block and after saving the block um, when I will save the block 
then I will here again say the blog and after this I will go to content page okay and on the content page I open the one content for example I open the mathematics I have opened the mathematics and you can see in the right side advanced software engineering is showing introduction to computing is showing mathematics is showing but actually the mathematics only a, a, uh, is the uh, course of uh, uh, it is a course of BSCS and uh, MSCS uh, uh, it is okay for this one but uh, if I am on the advanced software engineering here advanced software engineering uh, I am on the page of advanced software engineering the introduction to computing is also showing and mathematics is also showing here uh, advanced software engineering should not show you can see this is the co uh, subject of ms computer science okay and advanced software engineering is showing here introduction to computing should not show why it is showing Be uh, because the relationship and the filters have not been added okay you get my point look advanced software engineering is the subject of the course mathemat of the course ms computer science okay this is the ms computer science and here introduction to computing should not show only advanced software engineering and mathematics both should show because mathematics is in bs computer science and uh, uh, ms computer science uh, it is uh, the issue here uh, to solve this issue we need to work in the view uh, filters and contextual filter okay uh, I, I again explain you in the other way that introduction to computing i am now on the page of introduction to computing it is in the bscs only and it is not in mscs okay but you can see that advanced software engineering is also showing in the related subjects but actually the student is uh, in the bscs uh, course and uh, uh, he should only see introduction to computing and mathematics advanced software engineering should not be shown to him okay for this we will again go to structure and our views uh, we can simply uh, edit our view from here also we just go here and we can edit the view it is uh, the an, another uh, good feature of the drupal views okay okay for this here i go down and i need to go to add a relationship okay relationship i will add here before uh, going to add a relationship i just want to tell you that uh, there was a field at uh, the course field okay related uh, well, let me show you that field again so that you can know that what i am going to do structure then the content types and in the subject content type if i go to manage fields there was a field course of the subject okay course of the subject is a entity reference field okay this field will be used to make that view which we want okay uh, we can uh, go from here also uh, our view was uh, i will go to views and uh, we just go to the our view what was our view name i think related content related this is related sub subject sorry related subjects and here i need to add a relationship firstly you should be remember that the field name was course of the subject add a relationship and in the add a relationship we need to just write the course of the subject field you can see the course of the subject field is here you can see look at here i, I just need to check it taxonomy term referenced from field course of the subject and then add configure relationship and after this adding this one I need to apply it and after applying this one I will add another relationship okay uh, add now again I will go to add it add relationship and then course co okay now you can see 
कंटेंट यूजिंग फील्ड कोर्स ऑफ द रिलेशनशिप नाउ दिस इज कमिंग हेयर ओके दिस इज एक्चुअली द रिलेशनशिप नाउ आई नीड टू चेक दिस चेक बॉक्स एंड देन एड एंड कॉन्फिगर रिलेशनशिप एंड आफ्टर एड एंड कॉन्फिगर रिलेशनशिप I will just go uh, to apply it one. After applying this one, I will go and now I need to add the contextual filter. Okay, and here in the contextual filter, uh, I need to give the ID, the node ID. I will give the ID, and here I am selecting the ID and then contextual rela filter relationship. Uh, then after this, after adding the contextual filters, I need to select that this filter contextual is the basically dynamic filter. It will uh, take the value from where provide default value, and it will uh, take the value from URL. It will take the URL node ID uh, from URL, and I need to also add the relationship this one. Okay, and then after this, I will apply it, and after applying this one. if you see i am going to save it i am going to save it and uh, we will pay, uh, keep this page open and uh, we we can open in a new tab uh, our page the content page and then i again go to uh, now introduction to computing for example in the introduction to computing page you can see introduction to computing and mathematics is only showing okay uh, and uh, uh, because introduction to computing in in bscs uh, therefore and mathematics is in both okay if i go to math, uh, uh, mathematics in the mathematics the all three will show okay advanced software engineering introduction to computing mathematics okay and uh, here if i go to again advanced software engineering in the advanced software engineering you can see only the advanced software engineering and mathematics is showing okay this is actually now the thing which i have explained to you which we call it the uh, uh, relationship okay and filters contextual filter relationships okay these are the things which you need to understand how the contextual filter is working if you do the practice of this session you will easily understand it's working okay it is necessary that you should practice this session so that you can understand the contextual filter and filter here a thing which i just saw that uh, two sometime uh, mathematics is showing i think if i go to uh, my page again and here i think if i go down and down and down i think here if i go aggregate and then apply and in the apply if i save it i think that issue might be solved sometimes the things show two times and i think if i refresh the page you can see look now mathematics is not showing to time okay uh, we have solved this issue now again go to advanced software engineering page on the advanced software engineering page mathematics and advanced software engineering is showing and on the mathematics page the all three are showing advanced software engineering introduction to computing and mathematics and on the introduction to computing page introduction to computing and mathematics both are showing okay that is the way how it is working uh you can do practice on this session so that you can be more uh, and more better developer of drupal okay thank you thank you for your time